So around a month ago, we replaced the valve cover gaskets on this 2006 Acura TL. And in that video, I mentioned I really discovered this because the front wheels were just being caked with oil residue. And after doing that repair, cleaning the wheels, it was much better. But I'm still getting some residual oil, burnt oil on the front wheels. And this is something I completely overlooked. Let me show you what we're looking at. So right here is the front valve cover. And if I just place my hands underneath the valve cover, the engine is hot right now, but nonetheless, completely clean. But look right here, I completely overlooked this, maybe because I replaced this component just two years ago, and I did a video showing on how to test it. I just didn't think about it, it's staring right at me, but this is a PCV valve. And if you take a look right here, I still have, have some oil residue and it's just slowly leaking to the bottom of the engine. So this is something we need to look at. Now fortunately, this is simple enough, just a 10 millimeter fastener. And yeah, even look at the fastener. I just, let me zoom in here just in case. You can just see all of the oil the O-rings, it looks like, have failed. But yeah, look at that. And then this just comes right out. Now in my case, I made not only one, but two mistakes. The first one is regarding this PCV valve. Two and a half years ago, I did a video on how to test and replace PCV valves for the Acura V6 and the Honda V6 engines. Now back then I could only do a video, I only had time to shoot videos on Sundays. And being a Sunday, the only way I can purchase a part is by the parts store as opposed to the dealership. And I'm a big believer regarding you pay more for the factory part but it lasts and this is a perfect example. So two and a half years later, maybe 20,000 miles, and what's happening is you have two O-rings, one here, another one right here. In fact, I did remove them, and as you can see, they just, they're shot. They are completely destroyed. They're plastic now. They're no longer rubber. So the oil is passing both O-rings and then just leaking onto the engine. The engine is hot, obviously, and burning off that oil, and the residue is caking up on the front wheels. So very good example on how you pay more, but this is something that won't fail for many years. In fact, when I did that video, that old PCV valve was still in good shape, but I figured it's 13 years old, let's replace it. But factory components, go with the factory stuff. Now the second mistake I made was overlooking the PCV valve. I physically removed this valve cover and did not even think twice checking the PCV valve. So the point here today is just make sure all of the components that you're essentially surrounded with, if you're doing a valve cover gasket, check the PCB valve or anything else that's just right there. Because if you have to do this job again, we're fortunate. This is right here in front of the engine, piece of cake. But what if it, the part is in the back of the engine and now you have to get access to it again and devote time to it. So the point here I just want to make is check for sure the PCB valve and uh, anything else obviously and purchase the factory components really really important 